Greetings, good masters. I am Maester Barnaby, and this is a study and lecture series on the House Tremaine after the ascent of the Lord Astor. Today's lecture briefly goes over notable events in the House's lengthy history and famous, or infamous, members of the House before the Battle of Redgrass Field. The Tremaines, a house founded during the time of Garth the Gardener, at the dawn of the Age of Heroes, was founded by a colourful and <laughs> fortunate agriculturalist by the name of Lord Famine the Greedy. During the long night, the ancestors of House Gaunt prevented House Tremaine from fleeing their holdings to make for safety at what we know now as Dragonstone, thus cementing a bitter hatred that exists to this day. It is further noted that it is after this event that the house motto, Always Hungry, was first attributed to the Tremaines, and that grim heraldry, or a sheaf of wheat between two strangers' respectant sable, was first sighted. This leads us into the Andal invasion, where House Germain paid a hefty sum to avoid and redirect the wrath and greed of the invaders upon those they saw as their rivals. It is speculated by Maester Pomfrey the Small that it was this event that began the Gaunt's deep devotion to the Seven. Make of that what you will. Scant details exist of the house's fortune until the Roynor migration, where the house under Gandry the Charmer went on a programme of building up their holdings, making a number of smart marriages, and courting artisans to their castle. This programme of diplomacy, continued by his descendants, led the Tremaines to gain a favour from Aegon, upon his conquest when he and his forces stayed a week at Famine's Hold. While the Dance of Dragons raged across Westeros, the Lord Osmond Tuklux invested in what would become the house's noted business, horses. He and the Lady Madeline seemed to have a unique way with those creatures that dominate field, road, and war such a way that some say hearken back to the days of the First Men and their partnership with the Children of the Forest. Maybe more notable was Osmond's moniker, gained through the strategy of staying neutral through the conflict by having both green and black banners and accoutrements to have at the ready, depending on which Targaryen force or supporters were in the area proved to be successful as the house quietly increased their wealth in standing, while others were left to burn and fade. That good fortune would eventually be squandered. Timed with rebellion was scandal. Jamie Waters, a Targaryen bastard, born to the Lady Tremaine, shamed the household, and foretold the divide that was to come with the start of the Blackfire Rebellion. Blood fought blood, and much more was lost. The details of which we will cover later. Your recommended reading for today is Reflections on the Seven, a study in the spread of the new gods by Mr. Pomfrey the Small. His work is a bit speculative at times, but the insights garnered are worth the pitfalls in flowery language. Now, I leave you good masters to your studies. <laughs>